Destiny 2 starts off with one of the most difficult decisions you need to make, and that is, what class should I choose? What is going on everyone, it's One Chance here, and in this guide we will go through the classes and subclasses that are available for New Light players, and also a bit later on the subclasses that unlock if you own either Forsaken, Shadowkeep, or both. If you have any further questions, be sure to leave them in the comments section below, and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of these guides. So with that plug out of the way, let's get into it. Playable classes in Destiny are Titan, Warlock, and Hunter. Each come with their own personalized jump, class, grenade, and melee abilities. As all classes are able to use every weapon archetype and have no restrictions when it comes to this, your decision comes down to movement and abilities of that class. There are enough character slots to make one of each, so don't worry too much if you don't like the class you first pick. Titans are typically seen as more the tank class as they have higher resilience, their melee is a punch with their double jump being more a lift into the air to maximize height rather than a glide that maximizes distance. High lift is used for max reaching your jump, but don't expect to be able to gain a lot of distance. Strafe lift allows more directional control whilst in the air, whilst catapult lift has an initial burst of speed to boost forward momentum over lift. For their class ability, you can choose between two barricades. A tower barricade that blocks incoming damage for whoever stands behind it. The other barricade is the rally barricade, which allows you and your fellow guardians when behind and close enough to it to gain reload speed for a short while. Hunters are more or less the roguelike class, as they stack more mobility. Their melee is either a knife or a punch depending on the subclass that you choose, and their double jump is more a traditional double jump. The first jump that you can choose from is the high jump, which allows for increased height. Strafe jump allows for more directional control, whilst the triple jump adds an extra jump to the double jump. The hunter's class abilities you can choose between are marksman dodge, which reloads your weapon after using the ability, or Gambler's Dodge that while near an enemy will replenish your melee ability after dodging. Warlocks are a Space Mage class, which stack more recovery. Their melee is a palm that follows up with magic, and their jumps are a glide which allows them to float in the air for longer periods of time. Strafe Glide gives a more controlled glide which is easy to change direction with, whilst Burst Glide allows for an initial burst of speed at the beginning of the jump to gain forward momentum, and Balance Glide gives a balance between the two. Also, on the Void subclass, the Warlock has access to the Blink Jump, which essentially teleports you a short distance. This, however, after two jumps, does have a short cooldown, so be careful to not be caught out by that. The class abilities you can choose from is the Healing Rift, that conjures a well at your feet that continuously heals those inside it, grinding an overshield for those who are already at max health. The other one you can choose from is the Empowering Rift, that grants increased weapon damage for those who are inside it for a short period of time. These abilities on all classes are able to be changed in real time, in most activities that don't lock your loadout, meaning you can switch between class abilities when you see fit, your jump and your grenade. Note though if you do change ability trees that you will need to wait for your abilities as they will be on a cooldown. Now that you have an overall understanding of the basic features of each class, let's talk about subclasses and subclass trees. Each class has access to three subclasses, Void being purple, Arc being blue and Solar being orange all with a unique super, depicted by the big diamond on the left hand side of the screen. Each subclass has two different trees you can choose from for new light players and three trees and a new super if you own either Shadowkeep, Forsaken or both. Each tree is grouped with four unique abilities to enhance your super and abilities on that class. These can be used with exotic and legendary pieces of gear to enhance your build even further but for now we will stick to the basics and explain what you have in your arsenal of destruction. Starting with the Titan, you have the subclasses Sentinel, Sunbreaker and Striker that you can choose from. Sentinel allows you to live out your inner Captain America, and use a shield to melee and throw at your enemies. Also, for endgame activities, it can protect and buff your teammates. The grenades you can choose from are Magnetic Grenades that attach to enemies and if attached to an enemy, it will explode twice. Void Wall Grenade that creates a horizontal wall of burning void light, very handy if you need to create some distance between you and your enemy. And the last grenade is the Suppressor Grenade. This is mainly used in PvP, but if time right, can prevent an opponent from using their abilities and even bring someone out of a super. Be sure to read through the passive and melee abilities on each tree, as this modifies your gameplay to suit your playstyle. I'll be doing videos breaking down each subclass and going more into depth on each subclass, but for now, this is just an overview. I will note again that middle trees on each subclass and class are only available to Forsaken or Shadowkeep holders. If you were more of a Thor fan, then Sunbreaker is the Titan subclass for you. This super is called Hammer of Soul and you summon burning hammers to throw it and leave a path of destruction. The grenades for this subclass are an incendio grenade which set enemies on fire if exploded near them, thermite grenade that sends forward a burning line of fire, 
and the fusion grenade that is an explosive grenade that attaches to enemies. The striker subclass is all about running and shoulder charging into your enemy and creating massive AoEs. The super fist of havoc allows for just this to happen, as your titan slams into the ground killing everything near it and creating an aftershock that continuously hurts enemies that are standing in the area. The grenades you can choose from are flashbang grenade that disorientates enemies it damages, pulse grenades that periodically damage enemies inside its explosion radius, and lightning grenades that can stick to any surface and emit bolts of lightning. Next up are Hunters. The subclasses you can choose between are Gunslinger, Night Stalker, and Arc Strider. If you're a Wild Wild West fan, then Gunslinger is the subclass for you. Your super channels all your light into a weapon creating the Golden Gun, unleashing bullets of destruction and killing anything in its path. The grenades you can choose from are Incendiary Grenade, that if caught by the explosion causes the enemy to catch on fire, Swarm Grenade, that detonates on impact and creates drones that seek out enemies if they get too close to them, and trip mine grenade that sticks to surfaces and if in proximity of its laser it will detonate. Next up is the Night Stalker. Using the void you summon a bow that can trap enemies and buff damage for allies or even use the bow to clear waves of ads by hitting them. The grenades are Vortex Grenade which creates a vortex that enemies caught inside will continually be damaged, the Spike Grenade that attaches to any surface and emits a torrent of damaging void light, and lastly the Void Wall Grenade. Similar to the Titan's Void Wall, it creates a horizontal grenade that if enemies pass through it, they will be damaged. The last subclass is the Arc Strider. Wielding a star for pure arc energy, you can make quick work of a group of enemies and reasonable damage to a boss. The grenades you can choose from are Skip Grenade that splits upon impact creating multiple projectiles that seek out enemies, Flux Grenade that attaches to enemies and explodes, and Arc Bolt which chains the bolts of lightning to nearby enemies that are caught in the radius. Last but not least is the Warlock. The subclasses you can choose between are Dawnblade, Voidwalker and Stormcaller. If you've ever wanted to fly through the air with a burning sword throwing flames at enemies then Dawnblade is the super for you. The grenades for this subclass are Solar Grenade that continuously damage enemies that are trapped inside. Next is the Firebolt Grenade that unleashes bolts of solar light at enemies caught in the radius. The last grenade is the Fusion Grenade that attaches to enemies and explodes. Voidwalker is all about creating massive AoEs that can end up wiping out waves of enemies and sending them into the void. The grenades for this subclass are the Vortex Grenade which creates a vortex which continually damages enemies trapped inside it, the Axion Bolt which on impact forks into smaller bolts that seek out enemies in the radius of the grenade, and lastly the Scatter Grenade that splits into many smaller grenades and covers a large area with multiple explosions. Last of the Warlock subclasses is the Stormcaller which can chain arc lightning from their freaking hands. The grenades for this subclass are the arc bolt grenade, much the same as the hunter arc bolt grenade, it chains bolts of lightning to nearby enemies. The pulse grenade is also much like the titan pulse grenades that periodically damage enemies inside the explosion radius. Lastly, the storm grenade calls down a focused lightning storm devastating everything in that area. As previously said, there are three new supers if you own either Forsaken, Shadowkeep or both. They are all linked to the middle trees on each subclass for each class. I'll quickly go into this but we'll break them down more in the more focused subclass videos coming up. For Warlock you have Well of Radiance on the solo subclass which heals and empowers damage for allies and yourself. Chaos Reach on the Arc subclass channels a focused arc beam at your enemies. And Nova Warp on the Void subclass allows you to become the Nova Bomb and move around while channeling void energy and releasing it in an explosion. Titans get Burning Maul on the Solar subclass, which summons a big Burning Maul that you can spin to win and slam into the ground, to create a wave of fire that tracks enemies. Banner Shield on the Void subclass allows you to block and offer increased weapon damage to allies that shoot through it whilst you block incoming damage. On the Arc subclass you get Thunder Crash, which personally the animation looks amazing. As you launch yourself into the air you fly around for a bit and smash into the ground, killing all enemies. Hunters get Blade Barrage on the Solar subclass, which launches itself into the air and throws out a flurry of knives killing majority of things in its path. Whirlwind Guard on the Arc subclass allows you to spin your Arc Staff and deflect incoming projectiles. Deflecting triples the damage output of the Staff damage for a short while. And the Void subclass gets Spectral Blades, which allows you to turn invisible, see outlines of enemies and then swipe away as you send them to the Void. This brings us to the end of the video. Thank you all so much if you stay with it all the way through. I urge you to try out every class there is, get a taste for each one, and then decide. At the end of the day, the way you play is up to you. 
We'll be continuing this series with breakdowns into every subclass and what exotics pair with those trees to further your Destiny experience. Once again, any questions, be sure to comment with them below. Anything you would also like me to explain, whether that be activities, leveling, even what to do next, I'm happy to share my experience. These are ideas I do have with this channel in the long run, but if you'd like to see that content earlier rather than later, don't hesitate to let me know. And on that note, until next time, one chance out.